Hi guys, Crystal with Ryan and Crystal's Reviews, and check this out. This is one of the biggest unboxings I've done all at once. I'm kind of excited. I feel like it's Christmas in August, or I'm sorry, Christmas in September. Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. Okay, hopefully we don't run out of memory. I did delete a lot of videos that were kind of long, so let's see what happens. Oh my God, okay. So we will start with one from Lenora Dame. I'm like so excited because these were custom pieces that we ordered oh, back in like, baby, do you remember when we ordered the uh, Lenora Dame stuff? It was like some time in the spring. It's been it's been a long time, but she had some personal stuff going on, and then it took a while to design them and then finally make them. Um, I just kind of gave her some ideas what I wanted, so I did send her some of the pieces to make them, which made them even more special to me because they're actual like real custom pieces. And excuse my hair. I know it's like kind of poofy here. I look like Aunt B from uh, what's it called from. Uh, uh, Andy Griffith show, <laughs> chunky and in the big hair, but it's been a really long day. Uh, my grandson just left, my little two-week-old grandson. Um, so anyway, so this is a part of it, just to give you an idea. It's a pair of rubber chicken earrings, which I think they are adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. So that is piece number one, so that should give you an idea what piece number two is. And oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look at this. And then here is the rubber chicken I sent her. <laughs> it's like, it's got a funny little head. Um, I guess she didn't use the other one that was kind of shaped better, but the, the condition wasn't as good as this one. So it was a good trade off. Um, I absolutely love it. Look at this. It's got rubber chickens going around the neck, which is totally something that I absolutely love. This chicken's kind of creepy though. I don't like its neck. <laughs> It's like, I'll probably stick a paper clip in there so like that the neck can be more straight. I don't know. It's such a cute little rubber chicken at the same time that it's creepy. But it's like, hi, quack, 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 a rubber chicken. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love this. So I have the earrings. I have the necklace. Okay, so the earrings were a bonus because she had extra pieces left over from the rubber chickens I sent her. Oh, and then here's the extra pieces that they didn't need after all. So I wish you would have used this chicken instead because this one's a prettier chicken. That's kind of neat. See, I think this chicken is prettier. It's like, hi, I'm saluting. I'm a very fancy chicken. And then here's the little chickens that, were, again, were left over. So I, I love this. You know, it's like, <laughs> I love it. Who doesn't love a rubber chicken? Um, the next item is even more special because he is our son. And now we have all three of them made into a necklace. So here is Mr. Gunner. And now I have Mr. Gunner the Basset right there. And what's so cool is I can wear this with a lot of the other dresses because I try to stick to colors that I can kind of mix and match. So this is really cute. It's got a little Basset hound. Kind of looks like our Gunner. Um, so this is what I got from Lenora Dame. I mean, this is like the best money spent in quite a while. Um, actually, all of my stuff is best money spent, right? Um, oh, sorry, I'm sweaty. It's kind of hot. Um, so the next item is an eBay purchase. And I don't really like using these to crack open stuff because I don't want like the, I don't want to cut into the fabric or whatever. But here we go. We bought this on eBay, and it is an, it's actually one of, um, this is from, uh, sorry, let me put the trash over here. I'm try, trying to gather trash around here, all these bags, I'm trying to clear everything up. But I absolutely love this. It is a um, Stephanie Buscema Halloween uh, Cats with Pumpkins dress. I kind of missed out on buying a dress with this print, but I didn't like the style. So I was kind of kicking myself over because I'm like, oh my God, you know, I missed out on it. So I'm so glad that I found the skirt. Um, it is sateen cotton. Um, it does have some stretch to it. This does, this is a little bit bigger because it's a 2X. I'm in between an extra large and 2X. The 1X wasn't much smaller, you know, I mean much bigger. But in this style, they didn't make the 1X anymore. It either went from extra large to 2X. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the 
fabric off from the waist and have it resized. And the fabric we take off from this waistband is gonna go on my other Halloween printed skirt by Stephanie Busima for a pinup couture that my friend sent me. So it's kind of like fixing two skirts with one. Um, I love it. Look how dark and crisp the colors are. I mean, and if you know me, you'll know that I'm gonna wear this year round. It's not just gonna be a Halloween thing. Um, the next item. Ooh, I think I know what this is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm excited. All these packages have me excited. Oh my God, baby, you're missing out. You should stop playing Call of Duty and come over here. You're gonna love what I got though. Oh, I hope I didn't rip it. Yeah, when I saw that it came from Bryan, Texas, which is where Texas A&M is, I was like, oh, I know what it is. It is the Millennium Falcon Crossbody by BioWorld. I missed out on buying this wholesale and then I couldn't find it retail. I mean, it was like, and when I did find it, it was really expensive, which I wouldn't pay that much for a $20 bag, right? They sold them for 40 bucks at the store. There you go. So now I have a Millennium Falcon bag. A little pom-pom. And it says, we're home. And it's got the official logo of Star Wars on it. And it is from BioWorld. So I absolutely love this. Another win-win, right? Check it out. It's like a Safiano leather, but it's faux Safiano leather. It's not leather. And here's the inside of it. It's really neat. Um, <clears throat> right now, BioWorld does have the lunch bag that looks exactly like this. So that's kind of cool. If you missed that on the bag, maybe you want to use the lunch bag as a purse. Got one more small package. This is all what came from USPS. The rest came by courier um, through uh, FedEx and UPS. And let me see. So today I'll bet the neighbors were like, she gets a lot of packages. We got our new neighbor too next door that's finally moving in. So he bought the house next door from Steve and he's really gonna freak when he sees how often I get these packages. Oh, this is from uh, Daisy Jean out in Australia. Here's another card. And it tells you how to care for your new acrylic. And it says, thank you for your order, enjoy. Okay. Sorry, my nose itches. And this is really cute because it's supposed to be a German Shepherd, but it kind of looks like a Shih Tzu with the German Shepherd body. Uh, I don't think it looks like a German Shepherd, to be honest. It really does. I mean, just, the, I don't know. Uh, it's not the best looking German Shepherd. So I, I kind of am a little disappointed. Just right here where the head is, it kind of makes it look like they stuck the head of a, not a Shih Tzu, but what are those things called? The, um, those little dogs that are like, uh, like Toto. And that's what it looks like. Like, if you were not to see the rest of it, it looks like Toto, right? And then it's got a German Shepherd's body. So, I don't know. I guess that's what you'd get if Toto mated with a German Shepherd. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. And um, the next item. So, you can tell I wasn't as impressed with that one. I uh, spent 50 bucks on it. Um, so, I just know now not to order from them. Um, I was going to do some wholesale orders because I am able to order wholesale from Daisy Jean through our, um, it's like a sales rep that I use. <clears throat> and they're always trying to get me to order from them. And they're like, oh yeah, their brooches are the best. No, I don't, I don't think so. I didn't like it. I'm not impressed. Um, so anyway, if I'm disappointed, I, I don't want my customers to be disappointed because that's like my name on the stuff too, not just theirs. But anyway, so the next item is from Mod Cloth. Woo, Mod Cloth. And I ordered some things. I was going to try to size down, but they never answered my email where I was asking if I can switch sizes. I kind of need the answer, but, you know, I just don't like when I go ignored. So I ordered the Retrolicious Lobster Top, and it's got the little pussy bow tie in the front. And, of course, you're, out, you're wondering, why so many lobsters? Well, I don't have it on me. It's in the kitchen, but... My lobster purse that I got, the first edition, I, I get to wear it more. So I'm probably gonna wear this with like a cute little black skirt or maybe like a, I don't know, red one if I can find one. And just kind of wear it. 
and I like it. I always get a 1X in these tops because they're a little bit fitted and they're they're cut kind of weird. Um, I have a few of them from when I used to buy wholesale from them. So I that's why I just choose to go with a 1X because it just fits kind of, the fit's kind of weird on them. Um, I have the dinosaur one and then I have like just all kinds and there you go. The next one says beware dinosaur. <gasps> I have never ordered from this company called Dangerfield. They're out of Australia. And they do some collaborations with Mod Cloth. So what I did, I ordered a size 18 just to play it safe. You know, go up a size is safer than going down a size. And I think this is actually gonna work. Um, it's got some cute little, it's just a cute little A-line dress. It's nothing fancy, but check this out. It's got all these like little tattoo dinosaurs. It's got the little car and then it's got, is it rule the earth and it's got the dinosaurs and so it's, it's i think it's supposed to be like jurassic park because look it's got the fly inside of that sap looking thing and then it's got the little car it's got the pterodactyl and it's just it's really cute it's got like all kinds of dinosaurs and stuff and the volcano and stuff so it's really really cute um i am very happy i'm glad that i didn't size down I'm glad I kind of stuck to that size, even though I had one friend saying, you know, stick to the 18 in Australian because you never know with, with, um, danger field. And, you know, she's from Australia, so she should know. And we're, we're size twins. And then the other friend that buys from them all the time was telling me, no, you need to size down. You need to wear the 16 in Australia. And I was like, so confused. And I was like getting scared, like, oh, I'm going to have to send this pretty dress back. And after they had their 30% sale, they were, they were just probably, they probably sold out because right now everybody's having Labor Day sales. So anyway, so here we go. The next dress does look a little bit big, but it's okay. It's kind of like a little baby doll dress. And if I have to, I'll take it in. But it's also a little dinosaur babies. Isn't this cute? This one, maybe I should have ordered a 16 because it is a little oversized. Um, this would look really cute with some leggings and maybe some boots or some like Mary Janes. I don't know. Just so cute. Um... I like it a lot. Little baby T-Rex. How adorable is that? And it kind of feels like a linen fabric. Okay. So I am happy with those purchases. Does it have pockets? Yes. It's got pockets. Let's see if the first one has pockets. Yes. It has pockets. <laughs> so let's get the letter opener. The next one is from, I know I'm a glutton for punishment. Y'all forgive me. It's from The Real Real. The good thing is that they're not, they're kind of giving me hassle-free returns. I don't think they want me to shame them on Instagram anymore because of what happened when they sent me that fake purse. Um, I don't know what I bought. Oh, okay. So pretty cool. So these are the Fox shoes. They're kind of like the other ones I got from Australia last week or week before last. And I went ahead and got these because these are a seven medium. The others were a seven wide. And I wanted to see which ones fit better. So it doesn't hurt to have two pairs. If you know me, I'm always forgetting where I take them off at. And sometimes I don't want to run back upstairs to get them. So those are really cute. Um, let me go ahead and show them to you again. Um, they got that cute little face. They got the little nose, the little whiskers, and cute little face, cute little face. They do have the rubber bottom. What I have experienced is when they have the rubber bottom, they tend to run a little bit smaller. Like I wear a six and a half when they're leather bottoms, leather soles. Rubber soles, I have to wear seven. So just FYI, if you're wondering about sizing, shoe sizing with Kate Spade, leather, true to size, um, rubber bottom, go ahead and size down. I mean, size up size up not down um i have one more package from the real real the real steel <laughs> this is ridiculous it's kind of sad we've already got a name for them but it's kind of my fault too because like oh gosh i broke my nail I bent back um it's kind of my fault too because i continue to buy from them i need to just kind of boycott them and just stop um oh so they did ship them so i love boots y'all and these are a pair of uh che Maharas. These are not knee-high boots. They described them as knee-high boots, but they're not. These are actually mid-calf boots, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're gonna be kinda low. Oh well. 
they're okay. If not, I'll just sell them on Poshmark. These are really cute. They, they are leather soles. Um, Chamahara shoes are pretty comfortable, which is why I bought these. And you can't go wrong with the color like taupe because it'll actually go with like even this dinosaur dress or even the other one, you know, so good choice of color. Um, they do lace up. Let's pull the other boot up so you can see it. I do love that they lace up. They don't have the zipper on the side like my, my uh, John Fluvog ones do. Um, they have a rounded toe. Um, they're three inch and under. So I want to say these are about two and a half inches. And I mean, these are like gonna be so comfortable. So there is that one. So those are some good purchases from The Real Real. Hopefully the sole doesn't come undone, right? And now we've come to the last package. I feel like this is the end of a birthday party and it's time for everybody to go home. Womp, womp. This is from fun.com. And I've kind of gotten addicted to that shop. I love buying from them. They're like one of my favorite stores. I would love to be one of their affiliates, but uh, I guess I don't spend enough and we don't have enough followers. We have to have like 1,500 followers on YouTube instagram and all of them i wish they could combine it because then i would um but anyway this one is super cool and it barely fits in the bag which i mean the box oh i'm over here like here let's do it right here in front of the camera are y'all excited because i'm excited y'all i'm so excited it barely fit in the box so that'll give you an example it barely fit here let's move the camera this way it barely fit. It barely fit. It barely fit. So they sent me these Hello Fresh cards. And, okay, it's out of the box. I'm going to put the box right there because I will need to put it back in the box. Um, I have to wait until I, like, get everything out of my office to use this. I may take it to work. It's so friggin' adorable, y'all. I'm probably going to need Ryan to help me put it back. But this is... Oh, it's kind of stuck in there. But it's a Wampa rug from Star Wars. He's got little horns. Star Wars. And um, this is the name of the company that made him. And it's so fluffy. Look at him. He's so soft. You stick your hand in his mouth. Ah, he's eating my hand. Ah! <laughs> So, yeah, it's a rug. Um, let's go ahead and pop it open, huh? Y'all ready? There you go. Let me get some of these little thingies out of here. Oh, my God, this is so precious. It's got the little feet and everything. Oh, look at his little paws. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, so here, like, I'll just kind of bring this down and you can see the inside of it. I don't really want to unfold it because you know how it's always hard to fold things back up to the way they were when you bought them. So here we go, bring this back up. Here's his little feet. And um, it just kind of hangs like a, uh, like a bear rug. You know those bear rugs that they sell? Um, or that they get taxidermied and stuff. In this case, it's a wampa from Star Wars. So I'm I'm just, I think that's its name. It's a wampa, right, baby? Yeah. Yeah, it's a wampa. So I'm pretty happy with my little wampa purchase, <laughs> my rug. Um, I guess this, this is it. Um, today's out for the day. I'm wearing a fruit necklace. I forget the name of the company that made it. I'm so bad. I don't remember it, but I will try to put it in the description section in case. I know she's on Etsy, and she makes all this little cute plastic fruit stuff. Um, and then the dress is from Band. It does have pockets. And it's a really cute um, cotton spandex fabric. I am wearing a large for size reference. Size chart says I should be wearing a 2X based on their measurements. Um, this is an extra large and it fits just fine. Um, I'm kind of beginning to wonder if I should like let my friend know that I'll take the extra large in the monster dress because I have a feeling I'm going to be really disappointed that's going to be too big. 
um, then I'll have to buy a second one because she doesn't take refunds because she gives you a pretty good discount <clears throat> on her stuff, especially for this holiday weekend. Um, and it's just a big hassle to send it back and all that fun stuff. So anyway, with that being said, um, probably have an extra dress if y'all want to be on the lookout for it um, so I can get rid of it. Um, anyway, so it's an extra large, has the lobsters all over, and I wore it with my Kate Spade uh, lobster bag by Deborah Lloyd. It's the first edition. Second edition is still sitting there. It's just going to be a part of our collection, um, because a friend sold it to me. Um, but as far as, like, the one that I'll be using, it's definitely going to be the Deborah Lloyd. Y'all know that I'm very, 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 um, biased when it comes to, uh, Deborah Lloyd or the newer stuff. I'm always going to pick the Deborah Lloyd era. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I have taken 20 minutes of your time. Um, give us a like and subscribe. We're probably going to do some kind of a contest again because we're trying to up our numbers. We're kind of stuck between 100, 105 members and we'd like to really bring that up. Um, Ryan's been doing some really cool videos and, um, we got the snack crate that's coming next week and another bark box. So just stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Have a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. Bye.